this video I'm going to show you how to use a scribble Photoshop action. So the way the action works is you just open up your photo, uh, brush over it and just play the action and this is what the action creates, right? So as you can see uh, the action will turn your brushed area into the scribble and uh, also to create the scribble in the background, alright? And uh, the, the action also will turn uh, all details uh, uh, outside of your brushed area into the outlines, alright? So in this example I don't have some details here in the background, but I can check that in this example here. So uh, I have just brush over there, I play the action and uh, as you can see these outline, these are the outlines here, okay? So uh, the action uh, uh, also creates a 28 uh, core looks that you can choose from or even combine them for creating even more and there is a real lot of options for customizing the designs that you got. Alright, so just gonna uh, close these windows. So when you open up your photo, before you use the action, uh, there are a couple of things that you should check to make sure the action will run without any errors. Alright, so the first thing that you should check is that your photo is a background layer, so it should be called a background and you have this little lock icon. So if it's not a background layer, if it's something like this or anything else, you just go to layer new and just choose a background from layer, alright? Uh, then just click on this menu icon here and choose the panel options and just make sure you got this option here checked, uh, the add copy, the copy layers and groups, right? And then go to the image mode and um, your photo should be in RGB color mode, 8-bit count and also check the image size. So the resolution can be anywhere between 72 and 300 and for wider high you should use photos that are at least 1500 uh, pixels wider high, right? Uh, so uh, to load the action, uh, just go to the window actions, click on this menu icon, uh, load actions and just choose the action that can be allowed according to your uh, Photoshop version that you're using, right? So the action will appear in your actions panel, uh, here it is, and uh, what you have to do now is to just go to layer, new, and choose a layer, so uh, to create a new layer, and uh, just name it brush, and uh, this is a very important, so it's very important that you name it uh, exactly like this, all letters lowercase, alright, so uh, otherwise the action won't work, so I'll just uh, type the all letter case uh, brush, choose OK, and now just pick a brush tool, you can just hit B on your keyboard, uh, right click anywhere uh, over the canvas and uh, here just, just gonna pick some soft brush and you can choose any color, alright, color doesn't matter, uh, just pick some color that's different from your uh, photo uh, so you can clearly see what you have brushed, alright, so all you have to do is to just brush like this, alright, I've already done brushing before so just gonna open my uh, PSD file, here it is. So, uh, after you have brushed over your photo, uh, all you have to do is just select the uh, scribble action here, alright, inside a scribble folder, and uh, click play. Uh, the action will need about a few minutes to complete, depending on your uh, image size. So, I'm going to fasten the video here and uh, get back in soon as the action is finished to show you how can you. Uh, customize the designs that you got, right? And also one more thing, uh, you have to also load uh, the brushes. Uh, so go, you can just hit B on your keyboard, right click over the canvas, just click on this gear icon here, choose the load brushes, and just choose these brushes that came with the allowed, scribble brushes, right? The brush will be in your, in your brush panel. Alright, so all I have to do now is to click play, so as I said, I'm gonna fasten the video here and get back as soon as the action is finished. Okay, so the action has just finished, so I'm just going to close the actions panel. And uh, the first thing that we probably want to do is to just quickly close down uh, all these folders. Okay, so how to quickly do that is actually to uh, hold control and out buttons for PC or command option for a Mac. And uh, while this group is selected, uh, it will be automatically selected by the action. Just click on this arrow here. Alright. So that way we will quickly close down all the folders. So let's see what we got here. Uh, here we got a brush layer that I have made on the beginning of the video. So 
uh, this action is made so every time you run the action you will get unique result right so if you just rem uh, delete this group you play the action again using this same brushed area you're going to get unique results right so these uh, scribble lines will be differently arranged and uh, deployed right uh, so you will always get some unique variation right so just gonna uh, hide for now so open the folder uh, first layer what we got here is the black and white so if you wish to use a black and white photo just turn it on okay to turn your photo into black and white uh, here we got the add saturation so when you double click here uh, inside this panel you can just move this pointer and adjust the uh, saturation all right so just gonna increase it a little bit nothing like this uh, here we got the color looks so you got a 28 color looks to choose from and uh, all you have to do is to just select some and uh, just turn it on see how it looks if you don't like it simply try with another until you find the one that goes uh, the best with your photo and what you can also do is you can combine a few of color looks so just for example turn on this one and uh, turn this one and then you can just play with the opacities of the both these groups all right so we're just gonna pick uh, this one here and I'm gonna lower its opacity a little bit and uh, just gonna use this one here and also gonna lower its opacity all right something like this so that way when you combine the color looks you can create uh, a lot more all right so what we got here is the adjust contrast uh, so how you change the contrast you just click it in the weird uh, the word opacity and just drag it aside right or you can just simply click on this little arrow here and then move this pointer here and you also see that this layer has a layer mask if you just click alt or option layer mask you'll see all these uh, black uh, black areas uh, these uh, contrast will not be applied right and it will apply it onto the uh, uh, all these uh, white areas all right so if you just uh, hold the shift button and disable the layer mask you'll see then it will be uh, the contrast will be applied to the whole photo so you can see the difference all right so I'm just going to drop the set the contrast something like this all right uh, here we get the adjust brightness and it has this same layer mask all right so you can also turn it off if you, if you disable layer mask you just shift button it will be applied to the whole photo and you double click here you can just change the brightness using these pointers here so just gonna increase the shadows a little bit and uh, maybe drop the highlights a little bit all right uh, here we got the burned edges texture so you got the effect here you can just double click there and you can also uh, change the opacity here or make some uh, additional changes and you, you got the opacity here so you can just click on the word opacity and drag it aside to change the opacity if you uh, want to make it even more uh, intensive you can then just double click here and then you inc increase here to 100 right I'm just gonna increase it here to 100 uh, this is the uh, reveal original color it says increase opacity so as much as increase opacity you will uh, be coloring your subject with the original color so if you move it to the 100 it will be in your original color all right I'm not going to use uh, I'm just gonna leave it to zero right now uh, here we got the increase uh, for the details uh, so these layers you can see we uh, increase a lot of details uh, in your uh, subject so you also got the weird uh, you also got the uh, the way you change the amount of details that you wish to increase uh, to uh, your uh, if you wish to increase more details you basically just uh, increase the opacity right so with the opacity you're controlling the amount of details that you uh, that you wish to uh, make uh, visible all right so as you can see all right so just gonna set it to to something like this you also got a layer mask here so what you can do if you wish to 
increase the details only on uh, specific areas and for example you don't wish to increase details here you then just set foreground color to uh, black select this layer mask and then you can just brush over those areas all right or if you wish brush with the white over that areas you will then increase the details on that again all right here we get the photo edges all right so when you open the folder you got a, a white edges and you got a black edges all right and these are only the edges over your subject so uh, the, the way you uh, uh, customize this layer here is just play with the opacity all right just gonna set it to something like this and here we got the black edges and these layers uh, can really uh, increase uh, uh, the visibility of a lot of details in your subject and they both got uh, this layer mask so if you wish to remove specific part of the white edges you can just brush black into this mask or you wish to remove uh, some specific part of the black edges then brush black into this mask or if, if you wish to remove any of those two edges on any place then just select this uh, main layer mask here and just brush with a, a black color all right uh, what we got here is the photo scribble and uh, it's a layer so you got uh, these two layers are the white scribbles just gonna turn them off and on all right and here we got the three uh, layers that are the black scribbles so how can you customize this here is you can just uh, change these opacities here all right I'm just gonna leave them uh, default. All right, and you also got his, and you also got a layer mask. So you can uh, remove any of those, as well using a few brush with a black like this. All right, or if into this main layer mask, you're just gonna start removing the scribble uh, of your subject. Uh, what we got here is the reveal original photo uh, brush white to the mask layer, so. Uh, how this works is you just select this layer mask and set foreground color to white, pick some salt brush and uh, all you have to do is to just brush over the areas where you wish to reveal your original photo. Alright, just like this. Alright, so just gonna brush over these areas and um, you can also here play with the opacity. Alright, so just gonna drop it to something like this. Alright, to just uh, increase the visibility of these uh, details. And uh, what we got here is the background scribble. So if you just turn it off, you will just have a solid color background. So just gonna uh, open the folder. And uh, you got a uh, uh, six uh, scribble uh, layers here, all right. And uh, what you can do is you can uh, try to hide some of some of these layers. Simply turn them off and on, all right. See how it looks. And um, also you can play with the opacities, all right. So, and you, so you can achieve a lot of different. Uh, background looks. I'm just gonna keep it default in this example and here we got the background sketch so this will basically as I uh, told you on the beginning of the video uh, this will outline the details in the background but in this example we don't have uh, the details in the background so much so just gonna you see, you can see it will uh, show some details that uh, so it basically outline everything outside uh, outside of your brush uh, brushed area, right? So it just increase these uh, details that I got here a little bit outside of this uh, brushed area, all right? And you also got the opacity here, and you get the layer mask. If I just turn it off, you see it will show up on your subject as well, <coughs> and. Uh, 
uh, what we got here is the uh, background color so when you double click on this color box you can, you can here choose uh, any other color alright and uh, just gonna make some uh, final adjustments uh, so I'm going to create a, a new layer here uh, at the top of the layers and just press uh, Alt, Control, Shift and E or Command, Option, Shift and E on your keyboard and uh, go to the filter and choose a camera raw filter alright so here you can make some final adjustments just gonna increase the temperature a little bit add a little bit of the tint and here we got a lot of uh, settings that you can make alright, you can change the exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, blacks alright, I'm just gonna increase the clarity a little bit and uh, then I'm gonna click here into detail and just a little bit of the sharpening alright and just gonna click on the effects to add a little bit more of vignette effect Just like this, just gonna click OK. So you can see the difference. Alright, so let's just quickly see uh, the, the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. Alright, so I really hope you understood everything, but if you still need any help or you got any questions, uh, feel free to contact me anytime via my Envato profile page. Thanks.